and you may be having a really hard time finding a primary care doctor. As Austin's population only grows, more people see an increased wait time at their doctor's office to see delays in health care. Yeah, this is creating a concept called primary care deserts. KXAN's Blake Devine joining us now. Uh, he spoke with a doctor about this issue. Blake, so Travis and Hayes County both designated as areas with a primary care shortage. Unfortunately, that is the case, Erica and Sally. Right now, the average wait time for a primary care visit in the Austin area is around 26 days, which isn't great, but it's better than most rural areas. This all part of a growing trend in Texas called primary care deserts when there aren't enough health care professionals to provide primary care for a majority of the population in Texas. Only 9% of counties currently have enough primary care doctors to treat people who live there. So tons of Texans are switching over to telehealth services. Teladoc Health, a company founded in the Lone Star State, says the number of new patients has doubled since last year. As the population grows, so we're, we're able to link individuals that maybe geographically wouldn't be able to be linked together and answering the primary care shortage. Dr. Segura is actually based in Detroit, but he's been able to treat Texans online through the Interstate Medical Licensure Compact. That's a state law that makes it easier for doctors licensed in other states to treat patients in Texas. And since March of last year, more than 1,300 doctors have been licensed in Texas through that compact.